Dr. Fizz here on the Maxwell Equations, Chapter D. I'm just going to list these equations in this short section and we will look at each of these in turn. The Maxwell Equations are usually encountered in the introductory physics class, second semester, the course on electricity and magnetism. And here we have four equations. They're integral equations and the double integral here over an area with the enclosure means that you have a an area that encloses upon itself. Some books uh, just use the one integral sign since the A stands for area. I prefer this notation here where visually you can see at a glance that you're looking at surface integrals in the first two and then these are line integrals. Sometimes books will use books will use a DS lowercase s for arc length. I'm using a DL here for length and this is a loop. E stands for electric field, B stands for magnetic field. Let's look at around 1800 some basic equations. Newton's second law of motion, F equals MA. Newton's law of gravity, or the universal law of gravitation. And here, the electric force law. Whenever you have a fundamental force in nature, we endow matter that experiences the force with some property that here you have mass and here you have charge. So for the gravitational force, since all mass attracts all other matter, we say that matter has mass. And I like to use big M and little m, so we could have the Earth and the Moon, for example, but some books will just use m sub 1 and m sub 2. This is an inverse square law. R is measured from the center of one mass to the center of the other. And if you double the distance, of course, you then get one-fourth the strength. If you triple the distance, one-ninth the strength. The electric force law is one involving charge. We make up a word, charge, because we have a new force law. So we, once again, endow matter that experiences the force, this force, the electric force, with charge, a new uh, characteristic. Just like we have mass for gravity, we have charge for the electric force. If the charge is zero, then that means there is no experience of the electrical force for that particular uh, matter. Uh, charges come in two forms, plus and minus, and the rule is that if you have likes, two pluses or two minuses, you have repulsion. If you have a plus and a minus, you have attraction. So likes repel and unlikes attract. Sometimes over here with the gravitational case, you see a minus sign inserted because the force is always attractive and the minus sign suggests that. You don't have to here, you can just include the magnitude of the force. So we're going to look at in this chapter how to derive the Maxwell equations, well almost derive, from the electric force law and the law that we learned in special relativity. It's a very very unique approach to look at the Maxwell equations in that fashion.